Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Motor Yard. Game number 96, Strongman versus the Steamrollers. Drill Woolmate on the mound today for the Strongman, and Bud Benetti gets the start. Now the home team ball. rollers. Number 10. Game number 96 here. Right. You're in the home stretch, I think. Right. As Dave Briefs leads it off for the Strongman. How's that one off? Quickly, 0 oh 2. That's down. Benetti tried to get him to chase. That's fouled away. 1 2 now. How's that one off? Popped up. Cabrera put the plate today. Puts away for the first out. Brings up Corker. Locked in and juiced as well. Had a pretty darn good season. Hit 352. Grounds out to Rocket though. For the second out. Brings up Hill down. Who's juiced. 327. Three homers and 10 RBIs. Benetti. Junk baller. Big on velocity and accuracy, too. Pretty good all around pitcher. Gets Hill down to strike out there for the final out of the top half of the first. Brings up Banjo Crane to lead it off for these very hot steamrollers. See Woolman here. More of a mid range junk and accuracy guy, a little bit higher in the velocity. Crane grounds a base hit through the left side. Steamrollers have a base runner. Brings out Rocket. He's juiced. Pretty good speed on the base pass. One's hit. So one out. Runner on second base. Puts in Hopkins. One one Hopkins fouls that one away. Got him. Hopkins down looking. Pitch the and Proctor steps in, juiced and locked in, hit 317, two homers and nine RBIs. Proctor is one of those hitters that has really stepped it up lately for the steamrollers. And there's a strike. A two one pitch. Foul. 2 2. Proctor. Good eye. Chase. Full count now. And walked. It's now 2 on. 2 out for Jericho. Dozen rolls. Pops that one up. Right to hold down for the final out. Boy, Dozen rolls has had a tough season. Four, five, and six do up in the heart of the order for the strong Tucker Bauer steps in. And one and two now, and Bauer fouls that one away. But Proctor has lots of room. So the first out. The first baseman, number seven. Casey View now steps in. First baseman here for the Strongman. In 149. Again, having a tough season. Pops that one up. Pace is there for the second out. The third baseman. Burnswell steps in now. A moment. Benetti is one and three on the season, so be looking for his second win. And it's him strike out. Six, seven, eight, do up for the home team Steamrollers. Drew Woolman is also one and three on the season. Shepard Pace steps in. 405, two homers, 12 RBIs. It's a pretty good season here. Again, Played 24 games every team. So 12 RBIs, that's pretty darn good. Just fouled away. There's talk about lengthening the season next next year, but uh, it's yet to be seen. And that 
It's popped out to Burns well at third. Kirk Johnson steps in. We're going to see how the Winter League pans out. Some of these players may opt to try their uh, try their talents in the Winter League. We'll have to see. Johnson grounds to view. Uh, second half. And Matt steps in. Matt might be one of those players who opts to play in the Winter League. Maybe improve their stats a little bit. Granted, brief set short across the diamond for the final out. Nothing, nothing here. Top of the third, seven, eight, nine, do up for the strongman. The center fielder, Alex Denali, forty-one, steps up, three seventy-seven, two homers, seven. See, Benetti, is one of the best hurlers in the league in terms of strikeouts, sixteen Ks on the season. It's popped up into right field, but Crane is there for the way the first half. Lana Gomez steps in, catching today for the strongman. 297, five holders, 13 RBIs. Seems like the better hitting catchers here. Easily. That one's hit up the middle, right at dozen holes. Line drive for the second out. Number 17. Kai Wood steps in. Strong men are six and eleven on the season. Steamrollers are nine and nine. Despite being nine and nine, they're tied for first in the Cheddar Division. And Wood strikes out. Nine one and two do up with Steamrollers here in the bottom of the third. Rare the catcher to lead it off. Number twenty-five. Bench is Steamroller tied for first. They're tied with the Colonels and the Razors. Very crowded Cheddar Division. Steamrollers are actually, or the Strongmen rather. Only two and a half games back in the Cheddar Division. So it's game number 18. So there's still a little bit of time to make up some ground. You never know. Stranger things have happened. One out now. Banjo Crane steps in, hits that one very high. Just got under it though. And he camps under it for the second out. Chuck Rocket steps up. Very loud steamroller crowd here tonight. And that's a base hit up the middle. So Rocket's on with a two out hit here in the bottom of the third. That brings up Hopkins. It's over one today. Very good speed on the base pass. Check on the runner. Two no to Hopkins. Will make delivers. Grooves one in there. Big hook. Runner goes. Safe. Rocket steals second. That's a shattered bat there from Hopkins. That's a foul. See all the baby blue fans. Fans with baby blue shirts, I should say. Full count here to Hopkins. Fouls that one away. Full count again. We reset. And sneaks through the left side. They're going to send the runner. Throws way off. Gets away from Gomez. And just like that, the steamrollers are on the board first. They lead at one nothing. Here in the bottom of the third as Annika Proctor steps in. Is that a strike? I don't know what the crowd was complaining about. That was a good pitch. Proctor hits that one. Very high, very far, and very gone. A two-run homer. 440 foot shot. See the fireworks go off. Third homer. Left RBI of the season for Proctor. And the steamrollers lead at 3 0. As Jericho dozen rolls steps in. Steve Wright. 
I am a little biased. I'm a dozen roll stand. Ooh, ooh dozen rolls gets plumped there. Right in the ankle. Looks like he's okay. I have a Jericho dozen rolls shirt. And Shepard Pace steps up. Dozen rolls. Oh, that one's bumbled there. <laughs> oh, bumbled by view at first base, and dozen rolls is able to take second. So two outs, runner on second, very good speed. Base hit. Steam rolls could increase their lead to four nothing. And the two one pitch now. Teammates looking rattled. And as Pace hits a foul ball down the left field line. Two and two. And ooh. Yeah, Woolmane almost threw that ball away. They're really keeping an eye on dozen rolls out there. Popped up. Let's see who's there. Ali camps under it. Will be final out. Steamrollers get three runs though in the bottom of the third. Strongman at the top of the order up. Dave Briefs 0 for 1 today. So Benetti now has the lead. See if he settles in here and takes care of business. Briefs pops up. Cabrera is there. Puts him the first out. Now the right fielder, number one as well. Off the plate. That's high. Ground to Madden. For the second out. Now Madden. And Hill down steps up. She's juiced. Again, despite the record, you know, six and eleven the strongmen. Some great spots in their lineup. Alana Gomez, Serenity Hill down. Langston Ali having a pretty decent season too. Ground it back to Benetti for the final out. Seven, eight, nine, two up for the steamrollers here in the bottom of the fourth. Kurt Johnson steps in. Steve right. Nope, that's high. That's inside. Two and one to Johnston. And try to get him chased. Three and one. And Woolmate works back. He's working quick out there. Ooh, gets him with the gas. Up and in. Ty Johnston up. Brings up Xerox Madden. Woolmate is working very quick this inning. I think he wants his hitters to get up and try to get him some run support. It's kind of been the issue this year for the strongman, and that's a base hit up the middle. So one on, one out. Peter Cabrera steps in. He's both from one today. Peter Cabrera, Cabrera is their backup catcher. That one's hit. And oh, Corker catches that in the shoestrings. Kind of short hops it, actually. Throws the second to get the out. That brings up the top of the order in Banjo Crane. That one away. Ball inside. I thought Corker actually caught that. Oh, he must have just short hopped it. Two and one now. That's inside. And now the three one pitch. Right. And the full count to Crane. Sends the runner from first. And he's walked. I can't imagine Woolmate's going to last much longer out there on the hill. We'll have to see. And there it is. Albright coming in now, out of the strongman pen. As Rockette steps up. And that one gets away from Gomez. Keeps it in front of her though. Kind of ticked off her glove. So the runners don't advance. And that one's fouled away and now it's one and two on Rockette. Popped up. And let's see who's gonna get it. Gomez is there. 
for the final out. Four, five, and six, the heart of the order due up for the strongman. And, you know, it's in tradition in baseball, you don't really like to talk about it. But Bud Benetti is throwing a no-hitter right now. As Tucker Bauer steps in. That one's hit the pace for the first out of the inning. Now batting the first baseman, number KCU seven. KCU steps in 0 for 1. Actually, might be throwing a perfect game. I don't think he's walked anyone. I probably just jinxed everything. One and two, and now two and two on view. And the full count. Grounded. That's. <laughs> didn't I just say I shouldn't have said anything? So that is the first hit of the game. Number three. This is the second almost no hitter that we've seen so far. Possibly from the Steamrollers pitchers, too. So, that one's popped up. Cabrera's there. Is that Bauer on first base? It's not Bauer. Langston Ali steps in. Two outs, runner on first. So Ali's having a good season. 370. Having a very good season. There's the final out. Shouldn't have said anything, folks. I shouldn't have said a thing. Bud Benetti would probably still have a no hair going. But instead, Strongman get a hit. Three, four, and five hitters are going to do up here for the Steamrollers from the bottom of the pit. That one's hit very well. Does that sneak over the wall? Oh, look at that fill down with the ups. Robs a home run from Hopkins. Great play there. Trinity Hill down. Annika Proctor steps in. That one's hit. And Corker stabs at it. Catches it the second out. There's Jericho, dozen rolls. Hits that one very high, very far. And a home run. Jericho doesn't roll. He's had a rough year. It's a 429 foot shot. That is his first homer, fourth RBI of the season. Maybe dozen rolls will get hot as we head into the playoffs. Who knows? Jumper Pace steps in now. It's a line drive. Porter took a drop step. In really have to move. Steamrollers get one run. Go to the top of the sixth. Eight, nine, and one do up for the strong men. As Milana Gomez steps in. Ooh, Proctor snags it there. Kai Wood. Number 17. Steps up now. Quickly, 0-2. But then he's on fire, you see. One mistake, the home run, but or the base hit rather, but uh, still pitching a one hitter here. Second out. And top of the order now. Dave Brees leads, uh, steps in. The two outs here, the bottom or uh, top of the sixth. These Rollers fans have uh, really stuck with their team all season. Got to give them credit. Full countdown to Briefs. That one's grounded. Madden across the diamond for the final out of the inning. These Rollers fans have really, really stuck with the team. You know, had some rough days in the early part of the season. But the, this team has just kind of turned it around. They have possibly the best pitching staff in the league. Know, on paper, so nope, just the right. offense getting behind him. Kurt Johnston now, 789. Steve Wright. Due up here for the rollers in the bottom half of the sixth. Browns the briefs for the first out of the inning. Xerox Madden steps in one for two today. Number Late on that one. 
One and one. And there's a strike. One and two now. Popped up. Albert puts it away for the second out. Cabrera steps in now. Number nine hitter. Over two to fouled away. And again, one and two now, Prayer. Ooh, right back at Albright. He snags it quick in the final out. So, see if the steamrollers can lock this one in in the top of the seven. Corker leads it off for strong men. Two, three, and four go up. Corker's another bright spot for the strong men. It's a better hitting team, better team overall than uh, Giving credit for it. Right. That division too, that cheddar division is pretty darn uh pretty darn even. So we'll have to see what next season looks like for these teams. Uh, Hilldown looks at a strike. Two and one. Ooh, brushing off the plate is Benetti. And that's the first walk given up. I believe no the game. Number Tucker 14. Bauer steps in. Very good speed there on first. That's by the way. Oh! Oh! Bauer is plunked. So Benetti might be losing his control a little bit. See, his stats are gone down quite a bit here. So two on now. One out, Casey View up. Steve Wright. Two one. And now the two two. I I would argue that call. <laughs> I thought that ball was low and outside, but full count now to View. And View is walked, so Benetti walks the bases loaded here. As Class Burnswell steps up, who's over two today, and we're gonna have Brash Nixon come out of the pen. Try to lock this one in. That one gets away. Oh, <laughs> Kind of caught in a rundown here. And she's tagged out. That was poor base running for the strong man. 2 1 out of Burnswell at two outs. And that one's popped up. Crane camps under it. Should do it. Final out of the inning. End of the game. Steamrollers win. Steamroll, this hot rollers team. They just will not let up. Let's take a look here at the lines. 0-1 and 0 for the strongman again. But the Netty had the no-hitter going into the fifth until I opened my big mouth and I jinxed the whole darn thing. 4-6-0 for the Strongman. Take a look at the lines here. Another two walks. I, Well, actually that was uh, this past inning, I believe. So two walks allowed, three strikeouts. Only one hit, the hit coming from Casey View. On the roller side, hits coming from a smallest battering of them from up and down the lineup. Big hits from Proctor and from Dozen Rolls, the home runs. Benetti gets the win, improves to two and three. Woolman gets the loss, drops a one and four. And then Nixon gets the save. It's actually his first save of the season. Take a look at the top three players. Anik Proctor, one for two, home run, two RBIs and a run. Bud Benetti, six and a third innings pitch, one hit, two walks, three strikeouts. And then Jericho dozen rolls. There with the home run, one for two, home run. Uh, home run, RBI, a run scored, and a stolen bag. So that'll do it for us here, folks. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this game, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to Geek Cheese here on YouTube. That's your home for Cheese League Baseball. Also, follow us on Twitter at Geek underscore Cheese. That's your home for Cheese League Baseball news and updates. Game number 96 in the books. I should say before we go, Strongman dropped to 6-12 and 12 with Steamrollers to 10-9. and 9. I think that actually might be the first time the steamrollers are uh, above 500 this season. So they, that is pretty darn interesting.
as these two teams face off again. So we will see you again here on Geek Cheese. 96 in the books, folks. Have a good one. Steamrollers win. Take care. Bye.